Things are getting even crazier in the world of Diddy, from lawsuits flying in from multiple people to more celebrities being pulled into the case, but there's more damage being done to the Combs family just because of Diddy's actions. Now that these stories are coming out about Diddy, all of the allegations and lawsuits coming in, people are starting to look more into the life that Diddy had with Kim Porter and even questioning her death as well as the part Diddy played. In my last video, I did share some insight on a book that was publicized about Kim Porter and friends of Kim Porter approved the book and its validity. Well, it turns out that this book is allegedly published without any form of consent from anyone on Kim's team or in her family. Parts of the book are very detailed and could be very damaging and hurtful to her kids if they ever got knowledge of it. Let's just say they did. Quincy, who is Kim's oldest son that she shares with Albie Shore, went on Instagram and posted a story saying, this is not a circus, this is my family. All that may cause you joy may be all that causes us pain. Now this post came just before he penned a statement to his Instagram about the book release. The statement says, we have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs relationship, as well as about our mom's tragic passing that we feel the need to speak out. Claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not, and anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Additionally, please understand that any so-called friend speaking on behalf of our mom or her family is not a friend, nor do they have her best interests at heart. Our lives were shattered when we lost our mother. She was our world, and nothing has been the same since she passed. While it has been incredibly difficult to reconcile how she could be taken from us too soon, the cause of her death has been long established. There was no foul play. Grief is a lifelong process. We ask that everyone respect our request for peace and continue to cope with her loss every day. We're deeply saddened that the world has made a spectacle of what has been the most tragic event in our lives. Our mother should be remembered for the beautiful, strong, kind, and loving woman she was. Her memory should not be tainted by horrific conspiracy theories. We ask that everyone please respect our mother, Kim Porter, and hold her legacy in high regard so that she may rest in peace. It's what she deserves. We love you and miss you, Mommy. Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah. Now, while I think it's a great thing that they put that statement out there because there has been a lot of different people coming out about the stories and just everything floating around. We really don't know what's true and what's not true. However, kids also don't know what's true and what's not true. You know what I mean? We should respect the kids, you know, especially uh, details about their mom like that shouldn't be swirling around the internet. However, Quincy's dad, I'll be sure, put several statements out saying that the FBI is going to investigate her death because it's starting to look mysterious. So he is behind a lot of what's now resurfacing as well, which is causing a lot of controversy, a lot of people talking. And I don't know if this is going to cause a rift between Quincy and his biological dead, I'll be sure, but I really think that it's not going to look good. Things are also going to be coming out on I'll be sure's new documentary that he has that is being produced along with 50 Cent as well. There is a Netflix documentary in the works that 50 Cent has um, been working on as well. So there's a lot that's going to be coming out. And unfortunately, when you're in the limelight like that and you are the child of someone who is so high profile or the children of someone so high profile, unfortunately, it's gonna be out there and they're gonna see it. It's almost like no way to avoid it. He put it out there that, you know, just show the family some respect. He did not say anything directly about Diddy's situation. He basically has to be the parent now to his siblings, his sister, Jesse and Delilah. I mean, they have literally no one now. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any updates. Bye for now.